in the beginning, what I'm thinking, I'm trying to think with my pencil versus think with my head. If I have an understanding of the angle, anatomy, and from here, I'm just trying to quickly establish rough shapes just to identify certain features of the character. Eyes are something I always start off with, something that helps me lock in the angle of the head, the facial features, the expressions. So here I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of what would a baseball player look like when he's posing, when he's thinking about what he's gonna do on the field, you know, how comfortable he is. I'm also thinking of lighting at this stage, but I'm not gonna apply it till later on. Do you ever have moments where you don't know what to draw? If so, how do you work past those moments? There are times when I do run into a wall and I can't think of anything, and I just try to scribble. I try to scribble my thoughts more than anything. Just keep my hands moving because I'm thinking with my pencil at this point. I'm trying to think of multiple things as I'm throwing lines. Do you have any tips for someone dealing with art block? Reference. I would reference as much as possible. I would try to just look at how other artists have done it. That's how. I, that's where I would get around any mental blocks. Sometimes. It, I need to take a break. I'll just go for a walk, go to the pool. I might do some gardening, maybe just go, go to the beach. It doesn't take long. Sometimes I need an hour to get away. Sometimes I just need, you know, 20 seconds just to get, get away from my art for a little bit. A lot of artists say to try to avoid overthinking. Do you agree with that? If so, how do you get past it? Yes, you don't want to overdo too much because that's when it gets muddy. That's when you get to the point where you're probably erasing too much. You don't want to erase too much. You don't want to damage your, your paper. Your, you don't want to run through too many pencils, too many lead pencils. The, I think what eliminates a lot of issues is understanding your fundamentals. Once you understand how to apply your fundamentals, Everything just pretty much stays the same. All you have to do is just add details and light it. Hey guys, before moving on, Ryan has a Gumroad tutorial where he goes through his introduction for drawing. He demonstrates everything he uses on a daily basis for rendering forms, drawing characters, and making dynamic poses for his work as a professional comic book artist. There's a total of seven chapters, 2.5 hours of unnarrated demos, and one hour of lectures. Each chapter also has assignments for you to follow along with. First 10 of you to use the code learn to draw you'll get 30% off. Thanks, and back to the video. So, as you can see, I'm laying down a lot of shadow areas, a lot of really dark areas. Those areas are my absolute blacks, which means I am planning to, I'm thinking about just, these are the, these are the areas where I want energy, I want to capture certain features like wrinkles, parts of the anatomy where I'm trying to, to either obscure or push back, or I'm trying to either bring less attention to or more attention to. And I'm just trying to establish that with really quick, rough, dark areas. And then I'll go back and highlight those, those dark areas. I will highlight it with redefining the contours and quickly creating this little batch of energy so I can render from that, that dark area and finish off the piece. There's two layers of structure. There's a, the, the, actually three layers of stru structure this year, but first initial one will be the, the primitive and the skeletons, just trying to establish your angles. The next one will be your contours, just to, crisp it up and identify spe specific shapes more with more detail. And then the next layer would be lighting, just doing all the cross hatching and establishing all your blacks and whites and your dark areas. 
because that's what's going to make your piece pop. Too many students try to finish too fast. If you're looking at this, the strategy I'm, I'm doing now, this is years of me drawing comics and just drawing in general, and I'm I'm eliminating cer certain parts of, of the of the procedure because I don't absolutely need it because it's in my head. But I think young students need to stay in sketch mode a little bit longer because sometimes people think something that's in your head, but what comes out on paper isn't close to it or it's, it's off. The anatomy's off, the angles are off, you know, certain details are off. And I think you, you capture those, en those details with energy lines and applying those lines really fast. So you have to stay in that mode of creating shapes at specific angles for a lot longer before you try to go in and add more, more details. It's very important to have your foundations locked in because what I've learned throughout years of joint comics is that you have to produce a certain amount of pages per week to stay on point, to have a, a steady flow, keep your, your inker and your editor happy. You have to be able to produce and you have to, you have to keep things in sequence. So you have to understand multiple things. The arena that your character is gonna live in, the character itself, the, the, who the character is, what type of features that's applied to that character and once you have a basis of of all of that you rely on your fundamentals and for me when i use my red pencils establishing just the initial contours initial shapes that to me that eliminates a lot of sketching for, for here i'm because i'm doing all my thinking with the red pencil red pencils just allow me to quickly lay out a page, establish which character is on this page in this panel at a, cert at a certain or specific angle. And then from there, since I already un understand anatomy and how to cross hatch, it's just 100% go. I don't have to worry about cleaning it up. I don't have to worry about restructuring. It's just immediately go. Now that saves time on producing comic pages. That way I can quickly establish uh, what I want and finish off a page within a couple hours versus an entire day.